the National Transportation Safety Board came back to the Obama administration and said, listen, you need to have these regulations cover a broad sweep of uh, hazardous materials, including class two, what's known as class two chemicals. Uh, and then the chemical lobby went to the Obama administration and said, no, 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 no. In, in, these, these materials should not be covered by this rule. Uh, the rules should mostly be for crude oil and ethanol. And the Obama administration ended up siding with the chemical industry uh, and its lobbyists, narrowing the rules so that the train in Ohio, as an example, was not covered by those rules. So Donald Trump came in and repealed the limited break rule that still existed. Uh, so you have heard a lot of Democrats, and I think rightly so, say Donald Trump did repeal break rules. Uh, and we have on record a former federal uh, safety official saying that breaks like the ones we're talking about uh, could have potentially mitigated the damage in this disaster. What's annoying to me in the coverage, and I'm thrilled that our coverage has really driven the, driven how this is talked about, but you still see a kind of uh, dishonest way this is being talked about on both sides, that, the, that, the, that folks who are trying to defend Donald Trump will say, you know, these rules wouldn't have covered uh, uh, th this train, uh, but they don't want to talk about Donald Trump repealing the break rules. And you see Democrats saying Donald Trump repealed the break rules, and they don't want to talk about how the Obama administration made a deliberate decision to ignore the NTSB and side with chemical lobbyists. The, the truth of this story is that this was a bipartisan effort to allow the rail industry, the chemical industry, and other industries to uh, avoid the safety regulations that needed to be put in place. And of course, the, the final thing that should be said on this is that the Biden administration, up until now, has not tried to expand the definition of high hazard flammable trains to cover trains like the ones in Ohio. It has not tried to resurrect the brake rule. So it truly is, this, tr this story truly does span three presidential administrations.